recording. Hey everybody, it's Sticky Hamster with another episode of Prison Architect. In our last episode, uh, we finally gave up on that prison, it just wasn't profitable, we messed up, but we're going to learn from our mistakes. We started a new prison. We're going to try to make it as efficient as possible, try not to overbuild, and we're going to really restrict the amount of prisoners we have coming in. And that's the point of doing that. I want to see if we can be successful and slowly grow it and get into a big prison. The entire time, we're going to try to stay profitable, though. And there's some grants that we're not going to accept because we learned that uh, a couple of them are just way too bad. So, right now, we're trying to unlock finance through bureaucracy to hire an accountant to get the administration center. Let's go ahead and see if there's any other grants that we can do before we start taking prisoners in. I think we're good for right now. None of these is going to help us that much. Now we're going to try to build some cells. And also want to build some pathways. We're using, except where we have choke points with, cell do with jail doors, we're going to be using choke points like this. And also we are going to have a fence around our prison. We're going to make the fence like right here. We need to make a storage room. Let's make a storage room right here. Staff door only. I'm going to make a simple staff room. I can put that next to this office. It needs to be a four by four. Right out the gate, I want my staff to be arrested. We're running power to the storage room. I need one drink, wide self, and one drink machine. Let's do it like this. Wide self, oh, drink machine, wide self. Oh. There. Let's see, is, are there other rooms that I want to do? See how many cells I can build. Yeah, 
and paving stone. We're going to make the surface of the yard out of grass. We're going to make the surface of the kitchen. Ceramic. Surface of the canteen. Mosaic. Holding cell. White tiles. Fancy tiles for the warden's office. In fact, fancy tiles for all the offices. For the uh, Break room, marble tiles. That's the staff room. Let's see what other rooms I may want to put in right now. The chapel has to be a minimum size of six by six. Reception would be a good idea. That's going to help me process the prisoners as they come in. That's going to go right here. Office desk, table, and a chair. gonna put it on this side make it nice and basic build two if you build really giant foundations you're gonna wind up using up a lot of money staff door here. Office desk, table, chair.
I need to run power. Okay, what other rooms do I want? Can we do parole at this time? Parole hearing is locked. Required prison policy. So let me see if I can unlock the prison policy. It's going to cost me a thousand bucks and it's very worth it. Uh, now we're going to hire that accountant. That's going to help us with the administration center. We're going to get another $5,000 for that. There you go. Pop you right into your office. See if any other grants popped open for us. Cell block A. We want to raise our prisoner capacity to 15. Which is going to be easy. Try to build 15 cells. Build a staff room. Have at least five guards without assigned abilities. Short term investment. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. And cell block A. Alright, thank you very much, video game. Now we are waiting on the warden and then we'll be able to set up a parole office and for right now let's leave it like that what about tax relief? Ten thousand bucks. Let's see. Let's build our. Let's build our cells first. We want to have fifteen cells if we can afford it. We've got the canteen in the kitchen. The yard in the shower. Let's go ahead and. Uh, Move our paving stone over here. We'll start to build some cells. We're still in a positive cash flow. Basic cell.
Now, for behavior, these cells are not going to have a TV, not going to have a window. Eventually, we're going to have the next one, the guys are going to have a window, and the next guy's going to have a window and a TV or something like that. But for right now, we're going to put down five basic cells. So, let's go ahead, once this is in, wait for them to finish that. We're going to go to quick build. We're going to hold this right here. Hold and right click and copy this block. Interesting. See, they won't let us copy longer than that. That's a bummer. Forget that. We'll just manually uh, place them again. And I was thinking originally about having a back to back. Do you think I should do that? Maybe I'll make these the higher quality cells, but for right now, my, for my first 15, I'm going to have three rows of five like this with space around them. Right. Now we're going to do the same thing again. And that's going to be our basic 15. Now on our first day, we're going to take in a maximum of 15 prisoners. Once we uh, start letting prisoners in. Now we're going to pause the game, see if he's discovered prison policy. Now we can do the parole. I believe that unlocks parole, doesn't it? Let's check. Parole. Minimum size five by five. This is a 4x4. Four four. These are 5x5s five five over here. So we're going to do a 5x5 five five right here and make this the parole room. door. I want to take a moment and we'll go and lay down the paving stone.
we're probably going to wind up extending these a bit. We need to give our power to this new office down here. The staff room. I'll help that out. Now we need to get uh, power and water. For ourselves. I'd like to run it out this way. But it'll be fun if I go up through here. to go around the cells with the big pipes. Okay, now the small pipes. They're going to build that now. Hey, Gribios123, how you doing? to put a gate right here and one all the way up here Greblios? I'm sorry, I didn't see the I. I didn't see the L, I mean Greblios or Greb. Alrighty. You can call me anything but late for supper. How about that? Now we are going to build fences. Greblios. Not with, not with an iron L. My, is my eyes even focusing? With an L, not with an I, right? Okay, now we're going to run a fence. Good news about fences, they're cheap. They're not real good at keeping prisoners in, though. How about if I call you Greb? That will be easiest for me.
Okay, the workers are doing the fence. We're going to have a road gate here. So anything that comes in or out has to go through that gate. And I need to be able to assign guards. We'll be able to hire a chief of security. And I need to build him an office. So we'll put his office next to reception. How's that sound? Alrighty. Building brick. And we're going to have a door here. Good old staff door. Where's that desk at? Did I have those turned around the wrong way? I got this one turned around the wrong way. Can I just... Dismantle it. And place it again. Office desk. Ah, it said dismantle. Here's somebody will come get that and move it. There we go. Objects. Office desk. There you go. Now the keyboard's not facing the wrong way. I'm just being picky picky. And hooking power up. See if anything's missing power right now. This room is. These are missing power as well. I'm going to make a visitor center if they'll let me. What was I going to do in this room? Oh, that was the parole room. visitors table I want it it's the other way oh well Do, they don't want me to turn it the other way for some reason okay Bring that table, please. Okay. Now look at some of the other rooms to make people happy. Visitation.
already. Now, let's see here. I think we're going to build a visitor's room. Let's take a look at our inmate health and well-being. Prison maintenance. Okay, I can do that. We're going to hire five guards right now. Actually, I'm going to hire three more and just complete that. Okay, we finished that one. Finish another grant. Security procedure certification. Okay, we have a security chief. Hire ten guards. Okay, we need five more guards. Unlock patrols through bureaucracy. Do we have a security chief yet? We do now. I have to call that an office, apparently. Rooms. There we go. Unlock patrols through bureaucracy. Right there. It'll take five hours. We don't even have prisoners here yet. Uh, we do need bringing them in because we're losing a little bit per day now. So we're going to bring in our first 15 prisoners. So let's go over here to intake. And we're going to turn medium security down to nothing. We're going to go to fill capacity, fill to 15. Accepting medium prisoners only. 12 are coming in the next 14 hours. We'll get $3,600 for that. Once we unlock the patrols, we'll assign three guards to patrol routes. Looks like our water's not hooked up here. Fix that in a jiffy. And we're going to try to have these prisoners be as content as possible without going too crazy. So we do want to set up the visitation room now. I want to put the visitation room here, I believe.
Let's try that again. Foundations. Building brick. Okay. And we're going to put staff door here and here. This is going to be our largest room by far, so far. Doing a little bit of planning ahead at the moment. Welcome back. Let's run power to that building. See if that's enough to power the entire building. Probably will be. There we go, we have a visitor center. Now, let's take another look at what rooms we want to do. No, not really. It's like any other game. You, you learn as you go. I just had a prison. I've played in the past a little bit. I played some more. I learned a bunch of different things. And each time you learn more things, you do better. I need to designate that as a visitor's room. Boom. Done. And now we need a... Uh, a chapel. Now this room has to be a 6x6. Six six. Maybe I can fit it in right here. Let's, let's go ahead and play around with our planning. So, maybe I can squeak it in here. I don't think they have multiplayer uh, on this. That would be interesting if two people could work together in building. All right, foundations. Oh no, I want to plan it. Six by six. There's eight by eight. That would be six by six on the inside. And then we're going to go here to objects, have a door, put it just like that. Yeah, I like it like that. So 
Let's go ahead and do the foundations like that. That's going to be our chapel. Actually, you know what I think would be a cool multiplayer variant? Uh, you, you are building your prison, and they are building their prison. And as you do well, and you parole people, and they're released back uh, into the, the wild, perhaps there would be some sort of way that if you successfully rehabilitate somebody, you can then get the right to make one of their prisoners in their jail cause trouble or something to make it some sort of weird competition or something like that. I don't know how they could do it. By the way, there is a mode in this game where you can play in somebody else's prison as if you're a prisoner and try to escape and cause trouble and things like that. Um... Let's just tell this that it's a chapel. We're going to need to hook up power, of course. We need an altar, a pew, and a prayer mat. And uh, over here, the utilities. And we'll just run power like that. And I want to go to materials, paving stone. Okay, now the chapel set up. Don't need exports yet. I don't really need a security room just yet. We've got a staff room. I could build uh, some solitary cells in case anybody uh, causes problems. I'm going to build a small handful of solitary cells, I think. This way I have a way to punishing people if they're causing trouble. Can I move up? I need to be able to see right here. There. All right. Now I'm going to run power. Actually, you don't need power for those. I think you just need uh, water. They can sit in the dark.
Do I have showers yet? Yeah, I've got a shower. I'm going to assign some more of these shower heads here. Now, what else should I do? I'm going to make some of these cells nicer than other cells on purpose. Remember how I said I was going to do that later, but I think I'll do it now. The ones on the sides, I'm going to give them a window. Uh, objects. These will be naturally more desirable cells with a better with a better uh, behaving prisoners will kind of jockey for position to get transferred into those cells. And a bookshelf costs thirty dollars, a TV's two hundred dollars. We'll do some TVs in those cells as well. Zoom in so we can see exactly how to place it. Open up the, the utilities again. I need to run power. Not a big deal. Not everybody's getting a TV. Just some of them. To make that a reward. To encourage some people to behave better. Okay, now let's look at our, our grants and stuff to do. Assign three guards to patrol routes, all right. We're going to have three patrol routes in front of the cells, I think. Or we can have one guard goes back and forth here. Okay, so we go to deployment. Guard patrols. Okay, we just completed that. Now I also want to go ahead and see what else. We're still waiting 17 hours for our short-term investment to come back. Let's take a look at uh, reports. By the way, check it out, guys. Daily cash flow, man. Isn't that nice? It's positive. Even though we have a little bit of a staff, we do have some prisoners we brought in. Looks like they're eating right now. We're going to fill our jail to the capacity of 15. Tomorrow we got three guys coming in, then it's going to be nobody for a while until we build more cells. Right there. And let's go ahead and take a look at their needs. You need a psychologist to prepare this report. Okay, so we're going to go over here to uh, this guy. Our chief, and not our chief, our warden, and we're going to research psychology for 500 bucks.
And also, early on, I want to put tasers into my security guard's hands. So we're going to start researching the armory. And then tasers right after we get done with the armory. I have to do a taser rollout too. That's going to cost a little bit. I'm probably going to hire one armed guard to start with. I'm not sure though. But let's go to deployment and we're going to. Uh oh, we can't deploy individual guards into a spot yet? Okay, uh, do I need to research that? Okay. I'm going to have to research that as well. But I do have a patrol going here. I can do more patrols. I can have a guard patrol like this. And another guy can patrol here. Got five guards free at the moment. Those guards will just go around and hopefully keep track of stuff. It looks like two of my shower heads need to be hooked up to water. Let's do that. And let me go ahead and pause the game. And we're going to save it too. We're going to call Camp Sticky again. Camp Sticky, yes, overwrite that garbage. All right, let's pause it. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, you guys out there on YouTube, uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. Also, come on by twitch.tv slash stickyhamster sometime. And you guys watching on twitch.tv slash stickyhamster, please come on by my YouTube channel. Just type exclamation point in chat for a direct link. Or you can go to I am Sticky Hamster in chat. Thank you guys for watching. We are going to uh, end this video now, but we're going to keep streaming. Stay with us if you're watching on Twitch. And for you guys on YouTube, thank you for watching.